Let's see. Today the first? No, yesterday the first. Today's the second. And Paradise looks a little cloudy. Uh, maybe it'll rain, maybe it won't. I was looking at my dead cedar tree there. I'm going to have to get the long cord out here and get my chainsaw and my little saws on and start cutting some limbs off of that thing. And I'm going to save everything because I can make a lot of rounds, a little lot of cedar rounds and stuff. Um, I can get quite a bit out of that. Quite a bit. That Chinese elm right there. I got one low limb there I need to chop. And that's got some right pretty wood in it too. I'll, I'll get some rounds out of that. Um, I just don't want to get out there and bust my ass. Doing it. I might be able to get my grandsons to help me. <laughs> we'll see. A little bit cool this morning, not too much. I don't like the looks of them clouds though. Of course they ain't too bad. Now it's blue sky over yonder. Uh, scattered showers maybe. Here's one of my favorite places to get scrap wood. They put these pallets out here every couple times a month. Of course, I ain't able to get none of this today, so I like it when it's the plywood. I mean, you can see the nice thing pieces. I am thinking if I ever get my stuff straight, and I see some heavier plywood down in there too. This place builds pallets as you can see over there. Boy, I, swear I ain't able to get this today. So it'll be gone. It'll be gone in the next two or three hours. There's one guy, if he knows it's here, he'll come over here with his truck and load the whole darn thing up. But you can see there's there's nice pieces of plywood in there. I got a bunch at home, but I wouldn't mind having all that. It goes back to making hay when the sun shines. Sun shining and I ain't making hay. That gunk. Sometimes it's particle board and that flake board or astrodite, I call it. But, um, as you can see, hell of my, these pieces here, I think these are four foot long by about 10 inches wide. I've sure used a bunch of that stuff. Oh well, go cry about it, Russell.
Over here. You getting all this? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get this one. Somewhere to get them back with or with rain. Looks rusted. Okay, come up and get a closer up of that. There. That's about forty dollars worth of casters. Okay, turn it off. I got a call from somebody I know. Said they got a few hundred chairs that they need to get rid of it not that I was I still scrapping. Uh 
So I'm headed over to see what he's got. I don't know. Hell, I ain't got no way to haul much or nothing. So, we'll see you here in a minute. Suppose if I'm a micro scrapper, I'll see if I can reach down there and get that smashed aluminum can. I'm going to try. No hell I ain't. <laughs> I ain't think I've got one hell of a dilemma. No way in hell can I handle this. I don't have nowhere to put them. God dang it. I don't, they're not really good chairs. They're just, I'm going to sit down on that and see how comfortable it is. Pretty steady. Ain't no way in hell. No way in hell, and there's got to be 500 at least. But you know what? If I went and rented a U-Haul truck, and hauled them, that's the rental fee, the gas, and somewhere to put them. And there's about 25 in each stack. Lord have mercy. Hell no, there's a thousand here at least. God dang it. Where in the world he snagged these at? Now he wants to get rid of them. First come, first serve. Take one or take them all. And if I was going to take them all, there's some white ones. Probably a thousand here. And if you had them at the damn play market or something, you don't get no more than about it. They're just old in plenty of ass plastic chairs. And they've been setting out. Ah, right, dang. Yes, yeah, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit, that's 32 in that stack there, so those stacks, my good God. There's 100, 200, 300, 400. Uh, hell, there's 1,500 shares here. And I, it, it'd take me a week to load them with old and wobbly as I am. Hot dang it. Well.
This has been a major score. We lost set up for it. I guess that's the problem with being a micro scrapper. You ain't got a pot pin and got rid of my truck a long time ago. Hell, you, it, even if I went and ran one of these big U-Haul trucks, there'd be three damn loads here. So you're talking maybe $200 in rental. Nah, you got to pass, Russell, to get it. Boy, it hurts, so gosh almighty. <sighs> The pearls of being a micro scrap. This ain't micro. This is huge. That's going. Well, I was over here this morning. This is not the same pallet here this morning. This is another one, and this one's about two thirds gone. And damn, the way ain't late. getting worse and worse. Tell you what, this damn microwave or micro micro strapping for the birds. Can't do nothing major. Of course I ain't able to do nothing major. Damn it. Scrap in there right quick. screwed up when I'm I'm in line for my pick up my grandson my baby one um when I got rid of that truck I screwed up it needed a head gasket on one side but I was gonna have to do them but have them both done so probably looking at eight or nine hundred dollars to do it enough so I just didn't think it's worth it now I think it's worth it now I think it's worth it of course even with that truck wouldn't have done me no good on that deal I just looked at with the chairs I'd have had to have a big truck somewhere to put them, but looking at it, say there's a thousand chairs there, and say I could sell them all for a dollar. I believe I'd be hard pressed to sell them for a damn dollar because it's plastic, and you know how those plastic chairs do. I think they're like four or five dollars new. You know, and, and you wind up throwing away because the legs start cracking and breaking and stuff like that. And these here look pretty weathered. So even getting them free and then going spending another $500 to move them and, and then you're going to have to put them somewhere and there's going to be a lot of unstacking and stacking. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better now because it, 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 it just totally wouldn't have been worth it. It wouldn't, even pray, it wouldn't have been worth it. Uh, what's funny, <laughs> when this guy got these things, he, he was trying to sell them. 
I think he had something like 25 for 50 dollars and that's two dollars a piece he never got no takers on that <clears throat> now they need the space where they're sitting so guess what if he don't get nobody to take them <laughs> i wouldn't tell him to do it but <laughs> No, I ain't even going to say it. I was going to say burn them, but I ain't going to say that. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a fire. But they got to be moved. Something's got to go in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. I hope I don't fall asleep here like I did the other day. Oops, that one moved. Now I got to move. There's this lady that when you're in line at school to pick up your kid, you hold up these little cards you got with the name of the kid on it and she sends it over an intercom so that they know which post poll number to set him at when I come down through there. And I've seen her for two or three years out there doing that. And she's probably attractive, you know, she's got that pixie look. Um, and I always, the teachers take turns. One teacher will do it one day and then the other teacher will do it the next, and they're swapping back and forth like that. And when I see her out there, I, I, I just kind of say, well, there's Miss Pretty Butt. Because she's got a pretty butt. As butts go. But that, that was affectionately what I said. There's Miss Pretty Butt. Well, I run into her in the grocery store one day. And she recognized me, you know, because she sees me every other day when I hold the card up. Sometimes I don't even have to cut, hold the card up. She knows who I am and who the kid is. And I run into her at the store. And she said, oh, Jaden's father. I said, no, Jaden's grandfather. And in the course of the conversation, I said, I don't know your name, but I always called you Miss Pretty Butt. <sighs> Gosh almighty, that's what I said, Miss Pretty Butt. I apologize. I said, hey, I, I'm not... I, I didn't mean that in a sexist way. I said, I just affectionately called you Miss Pretty Butt. I said it again. <laughs> she, she wasn't offended. She told me I was sweet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't taste sweet. <laughs> I swear I, that embarrassed the crap out of me. I bet I turned two shades of red. But she knows. She probably know every time she sees me come through out there. Well, there's that fella that calls me Miss Pretty Butt. <laughs> Boy, I swear I can't believe I said that. I have really got to watch my mouth sometimes. I get too loose with the tongue on certain things. Dang. 